What are we doing today? We're at the wonderful JFK Airport. We're flying to LAX, Los Angeles. We're gonna see Eric Jarnicki, Simeon Panda, and Mike O'Hearn. And we also got a podcast and a business meeting. And we have a special guest. You guys will never believe who's gonna be on this LA trip with us. Probably one of the most funniest, jacked, handsome mofos in the world. Stay tuned to see who it is. Sadiq went through clear. I went through regular. I'm gonna see if I can beat him. Find out. Two seconds. I beat him. Look at this. Yo, you were faster than me. I know. I spent I was... all that money on that bullshit. You fucking came out faster, damn. It was cool though. They scanned you in with your eyeballs. Alright guys, so we're on our way to the gym, just picked up the rental car, so uh, it's like a 49, what, no, 59 minute ride to the gym, it's crazy, dude, but um, I don't know, I feel really good about this trip, I think we're having a sick leg day, uh, yo, what the fuck, yo, is, is that fucking Conrad? Is that fucking Conrad? Yo, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Sup? You live here? Yo, you want to ride? I just got off the plane. You want to ride? I just got off the plane. They kicked me off. Oh, what up, baby? What up, baby? How was your flight? Bro, the coldest flight ever. My fucking really? nose is frozen. I had to fucking buy a $19 crew neck. Bro. It says New York on it. I look like a tourist. Fucking brick. What? $19. Fucking LA people. We got fucking three chihuahuas, two fucking French bulldogs, one Rottweiler on the plane. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> fucking shit show. <laughs> fucking shit show. That's why I don't leave Bev's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Alright, what's the plan? 57 minutes to the gym. Oof. We'll get to the gym 20 minutes before the session. This okay. Eric Janicki wants to train legs at 3 o'clock. Wow, I didn't know that we're going straight to the gym. Because I can't check in until no, 3 o'clock. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. So fuck it. You yeah, let's go with I got the fucking stuff. Okay. I'm not eating then. I'm, uh, I'm just going to stuff up. What kind of stuff? I'm just going to do the powder. The powder? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Is, you got the briefcase? Yeah. Okay, I got the powder then. You got the money? I got the money. Half a million in Close cash. Close by? I know how we do in our line of work, Conrad. Hey, Milo! <laughs> <laughs> Milo! Fucking Jay Milo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! <laughs> Fucking Jay Leno, baby! Yo, the chin! The original chin. The funniest thing about that, he's like, yo, fucking Jay Leno. He's like, yo, fucking David Hasselhoff. <laughs> David Hasselhoff, bro. God yeah, damn. Wow, Jay Leno in the fucking NSX. Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking changing, then I'm working out of these fucking cotton things. What do you mean not fucking changing? I'm not bringing my stuff. I'm bringing fucking shit in. Look what I'm doing. Right We're now. influencers now. We're influencers now. See this? Ecstasy from Amsterdam. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's your fucking uh, your trend. <laughs> that's smooth. Jello. Wow. That's a new Jello from Rise Code City. Killed it with this flavor. Look at that. Well, my bad, Conrad. Conrad's the one that put me on to you. He's like, what yo, you gotta check yeah. out this guy, Eric. I'm like, dude, I've seen <laughs> Eric many times, dude. 
So I'm stoked, man. I'm glad it worked out for us. Yeah. Are you Polish? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad the name is Polish. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But, uh... Oh, by the way, in case you haven't noticed, we're at the Young LA Gym training with Eric Janicki. We got Conrad in the building. We found him at the airport, and now uh, we're gonna kill some fucking legs. Uh, you're gonna go with three. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with two, but you go first and show me how you want it. Oh. It's the only area of my life I can go deep, so I kind of really utilize it. <laughs> I can't go deeper. I'm as deep as it goes. Oh shit. Okay, butt down, dry the chest up, kind of yeah. pull down with it. You got more, 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 more. There it is. I'm gonna give you about 30% on that bottom range. Drive the knees out a bit and go deeper. More, 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 more. Now out. Good. Same thing, let's go. I got you. Deeper, deeper, deeper. More, more, more. That's a fucking great rep, dude. That was fucking sensational. Push. Oh, fuck. Shit. Lower, lower, hang out, hang out, hang out. go. Yeah, fuck you guys. Damn. Now, would you be happy? Because this is obviously. Whew. It's because this style of training, it almost looks through the camera easier because I'm not slanging and banging. I'm not like, oh, fucking. Yeah. But it's fucking 20 times harder and you don't know it until you do it. He's not going nearly as deep as me, by the way. Um, he's just bigger than me, so that gap between his hamstring and his calf is like so dramatic. But uh, we're pretty much doing the same exercise. It's just that he's so fucking big. <laughs> what I love about this style of training is he looks like he's in a meditative trance, you know, where that's what weight training is for me. It's not like push it up, you pussy, fucking five more, you know, don't be a bitch. Much rather prefer this, zen-like movement, control, create tension, explode, create tension, control, explode. Imagine if you're a bystander walking by, like, oh fuck, that big guy needs a spot. You know, come running up, like, yo, he got you, man. But nah, nah, listen, I'm going slow on purpose. Fuck yeah, come on, baby, amazing. It's really difficult doing what he's doing right now. As you saw my set, it wasn't nearly as pretty as this. He's absolutely a master at this technique. Woohoo! No. Oh. I felt that one. Just don't feel bad. I've had, just so you know, I've had fucking big, big ass dudes learn this form and do it with three, four plates max. Just because it's just so far beyond what they're used to driving in terms of bottom end range. And like I said, the weight gets twice as heavy once you get past that 90 degrees. So so five plates gonna feel like fucking 10. Who hurt you, bro? Oh, that's, babies kept you up all night? That's like fucking. I think babies kept them up. He's in a bad mood. I thought it was gonna be cool. We're gonna do some leg extensions and some standing calf raises. <laughs> nah, he's, let's go in the torture machine. Fucking lot. And everybody's fucking. Oh, dude's breathing so heavy between his sets. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking breathing heavy between my sets. So it's fucking three minutes with fucking 14 plates on top of me. Give me a fucking break. Lower. Go. I want you slower. Holy I want shit. You slower on the way down. Slow eccentric load, slow. slow. I got you, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Low, low, hang out, go up. Good job. Two oh. more, two more, physique. Yeah, baby. Control on the way down. Stay with me. Let's go, baby. Come on. Push that chest to the ceiling. Chest up. Yep. Go. Ah! Last one. I want it slow on the way down. Slow. Big ass hold. Don't go out until I fucking tell you. Yeah, don't go Hold it. Go. Breathe. Fuck. Breathe. Hold, breathe. Hold, breathe. Hold. Three, two, one. Out. Nice. There it is. Fuck. Damn. There it was. Holy shit. Fuck. 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 You. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. What do you want? Six for six or no, five for I'm six? I'm done. That's it. That's it. Done here? I'm done here. Okay, cool. What do you want next? Let's do some uh, 
super light leg extensions. <laughs> I'm just joking, whatever Eric wants. So, uh, actually really fucking good movement. For him, it's more of a, starts off as a stretch, but then it just ends up being just a torturous thing that you kind of want to run away from. <laughs> so you gotta, gotta conquer that inner bitch in you to like get comfortable in these uncomfortable positions. So you keep stimulating your body to grow. Oh, uh, what's next? Who's some super deep quad focus. Bandit, bandit hacks. Cool. Bandit hacks, baby. Love it. He's gonna toss this bad boy behind us. We don't even have all these gadgets. We don't have none of this in New York. <laughs> They're afraid we might beat each other to death. <laughs> 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 it's like the jail, everything's chained up. So people know me a lot for drinking breast milk. Have you dabbled in the breast milk yet? I haven't dabbled yet, Oof. dude. I mean, is it yummy? I had to like sip it to like make sure it was like it's not. It's good, bro. It's not like so. I would do the thing where I was making sure it wasn't rotten. Mm -hmm. But it kind of just tastes like almond milk to me, honestly. Like sweet and almond milk. It's exactly what I say. People say it's nasty. It's not nasty. You're nasty for thinking it's nasty. Yeah. Um. In fact, my body. A lot of people want to attribute this to steroids. It's not. Um. It's it's actually breast it's milk. mother's milk. Mother's milk. Yes. Plates? Uh, I'll probably start I think with four or five, five, dude. Yeah, I'll probably start with four. Yes. Amazing. Wow. Come on. You don't need me, but I'm here. You don't need me, but I'm here. Come on, baby. Let's go. Oof. Who are you inspired by, Eric? Like, uh, you. you know, a lot of people, they'll say like Ronnie Coleman, Frank Zane, like who inspired you? And uh, to really kind of get involved in taking your physique to this level. Uh, not to glaze, but you were literally one of the first people I followed and I just loved your aesthetics. And then especially when you trans over, transition over into classic physique and you had some of the best legs in the division at the time. It was very uh, inspiring for me. So, Thanks. definitely in the beginning, obviously you, Seabum, yeah. was a big motivator. That's crazy to say. I thought you were gonna say like Jay Cutler or Ronnie Coleman for some reason. I actually didn't love that physique for a long time. Now I have a much greater appreciation for it. But like, as of even five years ago, I'd be like, oh, I'd never wanna look like that. Um, and I don't know if I, necessarily still I mean people look at me they're like dude you kind of look like that but I still don't see it because I think because the height yeah I'm taller I'm 6'1 yeah. so I hold 280 285 much differently than let's say Ronnie or Jay yeah. I mean Ronnie was like 5'10 Jay was only what five is only five nine and a half five five nine I think five is what nine. it was yeah interesting so I think I would I tend to want to look a little bit more like Seabum yeah. or somebody like you is, yeah. has really great aesthetics, but also. Seabum is huge, bro. He's, he's huge. deceivingly big. He's very, like, he's fast. almost not, not deceivingly big. 6'1". 6'1". 6'1". Yeah. The first time I competed with Seabum, I was like, yo, bro, like, let me just get compared with him. It'll be cool. I know he's going to smoke me, but at least I could, like, hold my own in one pose. And the only one pose I felt like I could belong next to him he made me look like a child. Still, in my best, biggest pose. I'm like, what do you dude. think, front double? No, it was this front lat spread because I had the yeah, flattering, yeah. you know. The quads. His front lat spread is, bro, it's crazy. For this Money. Stuff, so. He's, he's, he's like, to me, like he's golden. Like he, oh, can't, man. he can't do no wrong. He can literally do yeah. no wrong. Two more. Come on. He's there, I'm here. Good. Last one. Hang Holy out. shit, hang motherfuckers. Out on the bottom. Hang out on the bottom. Come on, hang out. Hang Get out. comfortable there. Own it. You tell it when you're hang going up. Out. One, two, three, four. There it is. Sick job. Woo! Smidge higher. That's fine there. You talk about anabolics at all on your YouTube channel? Um, I've gotten a little bit more prevalent in talking about it. I think. I try not to because I don't want to hype it up. Exactly. But I, I almost, almost don't like stay clear of it. I think now, like. I like to talk about because it it's all about, I like to talk about like the moderate doses of things that I do do. Um, not especially working with Transcend and like yeah. staying on top of my health markers. Yeah. 
but like for me, and I'll stand by this like test primo base, like one to one, I think is gold standard really? within within obviously uh, you know reason not not pushing like the bolt to a gram or something, mm -hmm. but like staying around like let's say three to five hundred each. Um, growth hormone, uh, IGF. How many I use? Three to five. Um, IGF, either IGF one or IGF L or three. Side injection or I just say I heard it. about some guys doing like the I, a lot of guys. A lot of guys will do site okay. IGF. I have just Never always done, done local it. or just not local. I've just yeah. done global. Yeah. Um, and then whatever peptides are necessary for you, like let's say uh, something if you have inflammation markers like a uh, BPC or TB. Yeah. Um, or if you want to stay off growth hormone, you can do like a test morelin, info morelin combo before yeah. bed, yeah. things like that. But that's why I actually am open to talking about it now because it's like more yeah. about moderation and keeping yourself healthy. The way I look at it is young kids are going to find a way to use it and do it. You may as well talk about it so they have the correct information. Like me, I've never done Prima Ball and I've always heard it was for females. But I had a guy that was competing at Olympia, done very, very well. I won't mention names, but he was swearing by Primo. And then after he left my house, I was like, yo, I should try Primo. And now that you're saying Primo, I'm like, huh? Because it's a lot safer so than, let's safer. just say, Primo's a substitute for what, Trend? No, no, no. Or, or it's what's a, Primo a substitute for? So Primo it's is- It's like a partner, isn't it? So Primo has the very unique anabolic profile compounded with having no, um, basically, um, estrogenic side effects. So it doesn't, it actually can curtail the aromatization of testosterone if you pair it with testosterone. So you, let's say you take testosterone, like you might not even have to take an aromatase inhibitor, yeah. even if you're taking up to 500 really? milligrams of test. So if you pair that with 500 Primo, Interesting. usually you don't have to take any type of yeah. aromatizing, aromatizing inhibitor, Remedex or Novodex yeah. or Tamoxifen. I'm very sensitive to those kind of side effects, estrogenic side effects. Um, how much weight should I use? What did I do before, four or five? Three to four. The four for 10? That was, that was perfect. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Last one. It's going to be 10 seconds. If you need me, I'm here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Explode. 10 seconds. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Four. Let's go. Yeah. Come out. Come out. Come out. Yeah. Love Conrad. Everybody needs a Conrad in their life. We were just thinking about a good business strategy, weren't we? Rent to Conrad. If you don't got a training partner like Conrad, you're doing it wrong. I gave him an illegal 10 count. Oof. Come on. Oh yeah, make it, make it pain, baby. Make it painful. Oh. So uh, it's an hour into the workout. We accomplish two exercises, but listen, like when you do it right, you only need two exercises to grow. Um, CNS, baby. CNS. Combined out with the tempo, with the range. Amazing workout. So, you want this all the way on the bottom? Yeah. Right. You know it. You see what I said? He has the whole machine wrapped down. Like, you want this all the way on the bottom like this? Let's do this thing. You get the breathalyzer? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, come on, baby. I'll build you a new machine after this. Ooh. Nice. Damn. Damn. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Yeah. Yes. Got a boy. Yeah. I don't know how we did that, bro. <laughs> What's hamstrings? We do hamstrings today or no? We got a nice lay down, the arsenal, right? Yeah. So that one? Okay. What do you want this one? Let's do, uh, let's do seated stretch by start and then we'll, we'll either do a lying or a hip hinge finish. Good. Uh, shit. Yep. All right. Give me a little assistance. Yep. I told them, like, I wanted something called equipoise. And they're like, dude, you don't want equipoise. That's made for horses. I'm like, that's exactly what I had the look I'm going for. EQ and Master Amps from Merck. 
Oof. Retarded. Oof. Retarded. You never share none of your yeah, stuff with me. Yeah, why would I share with you? The other day, I was like, yo, <laughs> I was, I'm going to go train in California. Like, do you have any Winstrol tablets? <laughs> He's like, yeah, but I only got 15. I was like, I only need 14. <laughs> no. I'm like, yeah, they're in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. My fucking hamstrings are smoked. I'm taking these fucking techniques back to the East Coast. Yo, take these fucking pink things, bro. Can you put this I'm in your carry on? Pink <laughs> Listen, Eric, we're taking the pink things. No, we got blue ones at home. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these. The blue ones ain't working for us, bro. Sick ass workout. Eric is the real deal. I knew he would be the real deal. Surpass my expectations. Follow Eric at his channel. Tons of great content in terms of professionalism and just, you know, grinding. Um, I've been seeing a lot of Eric lately, and you'll be seeing a lot more. And once you follow him, you'll know why. Thanks for everything, brother. I appreciate it, dude. Yep, later, bro. It was a pleasure. Be well, man. Workout's done. Airbnb. Nice little area right here, so. I've actually never stayed in the hills. This is pretty sweet. What are we gonna do? We're gonna eat. What are we gonna eat? Found a place with like a fucking 21 layer carrot cake. So obviously that's what I gravitate towards, especially missing all these meals. Uh, probably get a nice fat burger, a nice fat steak. But first, we got locked out of here. So let's see what a code is. Flash nice fried. fried. They're not deep fried Flash like a fried. fucking uh, mozzarella stick. The artichoke takes two minutes. A minute to a cook. A Wagyu man. brisket quesadilla? Yeah. But these people have to cut in half. But honestly, man, I just go in there. Ah, right, cool. Yeah. All right, boys. Cheers. Holy shit. <laughs> the last time I had this, I was in Rome. I was eating in a restaurant and the family kept on feeding me and feeding me. They are introducing me to the grandma and their sister-in-laws and the great-grandmas. It was amazing. Wow. What the fuck is that? Bro. <laughs> Bro. That tastes like watermelon. You gotta try that. You gotta try that. That's not a fish. Oh my lordy lord. We got a marisay. Wow. 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 Good fat. Let's go for your libido. Yo, so fucking fire. James, out of control, dude. Oh, no, stop it. It's just chicken. Whoa. I didn't take a picture of nothing. Fucking massacre. I did for you. This chef was impressed with my muscles, he gave us four free burgers. I didn't know we would have ordered 20 fucking dishes. Crazy. Love it. Oh shit, my meat fell out. That's what she said. <laughs>